Hi, welcome to my channel, Organized with Joy. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different, and I would like for you to let me know if you like this type of video. I found these beautiful mid-century chairs on Facebook Marketplace, and I am gonna give them a little bit of a makeover, and I thought I would share the process with you. showing you the first tool I tried to use to remove the furniture staples and I decided to um, add this clip in here even though I was really struggling trying to figure out how to do this project I am by no means a professional on this and here you'll see that I ended up getting needle nose pliers instead to rip out the um, furniture staples but I wanted to show you this footage um, of me just kind of trying to figure things out. Um, I did a little bit of research on YouTube to try to figure out how to remove a skirt from a chair, but um, like I said, I am by no means a professional. I just wanted to show you what I did to try to do this. And after trial and error, I figured out what worked on the first chair. And so here I'm showing you exactly what I did that worked well on the second chair. So I just used a flat head screwdriver to get up under the furniture staples and then I pulled them out using the needle nose pliers. And this um, way went a lot faster than um, just trying to pull them out exclusively with the needle nose pliers. I'm being extra careful while pulling these furniture staples out because um, I will reuse a portion of the skirt. The top of the skirt has um, kind of this cording piece and I will replace that when I'm finished. want to update my home or when I'm tired of a piece of furniture is I like to buy and sell furniture on Facebook marketplace I think this is a great way to um, add new pieces to your home I actually was able to um, purchase these chairs for ten dollars less than what I ended up selling the chairs that I was replacing them for so it ended up um, a net positive um, that doesn't always happen but it is a great way to um, add new pieces to your home without spending a lot of money. what I used to take apart the cording from the rest of the skirt 
and that way um, I can preserve that cording so that I can replace it when I'm finished um, redoing the legs. This tool just makes it a lot easier to take apart two pieces that are sewn together and it also prevents um, the fabric from being torn or ruined. I decided to go ahead and use my electric sander to sand the legs of the chair um, and I did this for a couple reasons. Um, one, I already owned this sander. It actually was not very expensive. I got it at Home Depot, I think for 30 or 40 bucks. But I decided to do this because I will tell you this was definitely trial and error. On the first chair, I had um, found some paint that I thought I liked and it was um, a paint color that I was trying to go for but it ended up being way too bright. I was kind of going for a blush neutral color and it ended up just being kind of like a baby pink is what it looked like. Um, so. I decided that um, I would just use my electric sander to sand off the old paint and since I did that it um, it made the legs very smooth and nice and decided that I was going to go ahead and do that on the other chair even though I hadn't painted those legs I was going to go ahead and sand off the finish that was on the legs. I just sprayed this old towel with some multi-purpose cleaning spray to clean off all of the sawdust from the legs. Next, I went ahead and used our steam vacuum to clean these chairs. Um, obviously, they were used. Um, they are also vintage. Uh, they were actually in really great condition, in my opinion, especially for the age of the chair, but um, I decided to go ahead and give them a good clean anyway, especially since we had just gotten a new steam vacuum. I was excited to use it. Our previous one um, had broken every time we attached the upholstery attachment. It would just totally leak out the bottom, and so um, I really wanted to replace that because we do quite frequently use the upholstery attachment. Um, so yeah, I was excited to be able to use my new steam vacuum. As you'll notice throughout this video, I did um, multiple outfit changes and that's because this project took me multiple days. Not only was it um, a fairly time consuming process, but I just basically had to do it whenever I had um, little pockets of time. So um, I couldn't complete this project all in one day. I just had to um, work on it a little each day whenever I had time.
And here I'm just showing you the brand and the name of the paint that I'm using. It's called Wise Owl Paint. And if you watched my video where I painted my bathroom floor, it's the same brand. And I was so excited when I opened this lid and saw this color. It's called 1987 and it was just perfect. It was exactly what I was looking for. It is a very neutral blush color and it ended up looking really beautiful next to that rusty brown color of the chair. lighting looks different. I don't really love the way the lighting looks in this room when I have the overhead lights on. However, I really needed to have the overhead lights on so that I could see better while I was painting, especially around the edges. I didn't tape or anything. I'm not a huge fan of taping. I just like to be meticulous around the edges, so I needed to be able to see really well for that.
and here you can see it's yet another day. I wanted to go ahead and let the legs dry overnight and I am just using a very fine sandpaper to just scuff up the edges to make sure there's no brush strokes um, left and then I'll just do one final coat of the paint. Paper. I just got a damp paper towel and cleaned the dust or the excess paint off the legs. just here I'm showing you the top coat that I used and I actually decided just to do one coat um, this paint actually says that you don't need to do a top coat but I decided to do this top coat I like the matte look on paint and so um, that achieved that effect as well done painting the legs and they're dry I am replacing the cording on the bottom of the chair to get it a, give it a more finished look I'm showing you here this staple gun that I, I have and I have had this for over 20 years can you believe that I, I have used it um, off and on over the years I have really appreciated having it but I am just showing you the process of doing this on one chair because again it was a trial and error situation and I wanted to figure out exactly what I was doing before I shared with you um, what I ended up choosing to do in the end. And here I'm showing you these fine point scissors that I used to cut a notch in the fabric um, because where the legs were I couldn't fold over the fabric. Um, you'll see a better close-up look here when I staple the other part of the fabric to the bottom of the chair.
I'm showing you, I used this fabric glue to just glue down um, the cording on the corner of the chairs where I couldn't staple it to the legs. Well, thank you for watching my video today and please let me know down in the comments if you like this sort of video where I redo a space or redecorate or make over something. Um, it's something I really enjoy doing and so if you want me to share this type, these types of projects, just let me know. I always appreciate when you watch to the very end of my videos, so if you are seeing this portion of the video, please drop me a fun emoji in the comment section and that way I know that you saw until the very end. see what they looked like when I completed this project. I was so happy with the way it turned out. You can see that the legs are a blush pink color, but they're very neutral. I love how this transformed these chairs to a more modern look. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing.